Hello everyone, this is Beastly Eel here, and in today's video I'm going to be talking about the results of the latest death battle, <clears throat> which was between the main character of Demon Sire versus the main character of JoJo's Bizarre Adventures. Well, <clears throat> one of the main characters. So anyway, that being said, um, I learned a lot about the two of them um, significantly. The fact that how they use their abilities. So not so much the abilities themselves, but how they use them. So both use a breathing technique to help them actually better understand their opponents, um, their surroundings, their opponents' weaknesses, strengths, but, um, but also how they use their techniques as well. And it's their breathing that connects their abilities to do what needs to be done. So Demon Slayer has the water breathing and the sun breathing, which does fire. Um, the sun breathing obviously takes a lot of physical toll on the body, um, where the water one does not. And then it looked like JoJo's breathing techniques didn't, wouldn't and didn't cause any harm to him whatsoever. So when they fought each other, um, it was looking like Demon Slayer was kicking butt. I mean, let's be honest, it was looking like that from the get-go. Um, and that was the big thing that got me thinking, oh, this was in the bag. Because there was no way he was going to lose. But that's not being the case, obviously. For those of you who haven't seen it, guess what? Spoiler alert. Well, here we are. So, that being said... Um, Tinjaro was really using a lot of his um, water techniques, which was putting Jojo um, on the fence. Like he was definitely up against it from the beginning. Um, we got to see his techniques used. It caused some damage to Tinjaro, but it didn't seem to do too much overall. Well, Tinjaro realized exactly what Jojo's powers was about and went full on. So he used his um, all of his strength and sun breathing to try to take him out. Went in for the final kill for a fire strike right through the right through the lung. Unfortunately, Jojo moved just out of the way to uh, avoid him hitting his lung, which was enough to cause enough damage to kill Tenjaro, put a hole right through him. Now kind of depressing. So, swordsmanship, Tenjaro is the winner. But, we weren't looking at just that, we were looking at everything apparently. And so, Jojo was significantly stronger and faster than Tenjaro. Um, his abilities as a swordsman might not have been anywhere as good as Tenjaro, but his physical capabilities with his hand-to-hand -hand combat was enough to hold his own and actually win against Tenjaro. Tenjaro, on the other hand, without a sword, he was nothing. No, he couldn't do anything without it. So it was because of those factors, um, I was wrong once again. And now I am 0 for 3, 0 for being a genius, and 3 for being an idiot um, on these death battle predictions, which has been horrible this season. That being said, the next death battle is going to be between Thor from Marvel. Versus Vegeta, the Prince of Saiyans. Oh, it's the two princes. I just caught on. Um, the Prince of Asgard versus the Prince of Vegeta. And the Prince of Saiyans. So it's definitely going to be an interesting death battle. Um, you will definitely be seeing my prediction video soon. Um, hopefully, I'm correct for once. But hey, it is what it is. So, let me know what you guys think in the, in the comments below. Do you agree with this death battle? Do you disagree? Please let me know in the comments below. Um, as always, if you like the content you see, please like and subscribe below. Other than that, this is going to be Beastly Eel signing out, so have a great night.